A cell is the basic structural unit in all the known living organisms. It is the smallest unit of life that is classified as a living thing and is often called the building block of life. These cells present in living organisms are complex living structures. Single-celled organisms are called unicellular organisms. A single-celled organism like amoeba captures and digests food, respires, excretes, grows and reproduces. Thus, even a single-celled organism performs all the necessary functions that multicellular organisms perform. Organisms made of more than one cell are called multicellular organisms. Even in case of such organisms, life begins with a single cell which divides and multiplies and the number of cells increase as development proceeds. Cells differ in terms of size and shape. Amoeba has no definite shape and keeps changing its shape as it moves or feeds. The projections of varying lengths protruding out of its body are called pseudopodia. A white blood cell, WBC, in humans is another example of a single cell that keeps changing its shape constantly. Generally, cells are round, spherical or elongated. An example of the same is the blood cell. Some cells are long punched, like the nerve cells or neurons. One of the basic components of a cell is the cell membrane, also known as the plasma membrane. The plasma membrane separates cells from one another and also the cell from the surrounding medium. The plasma membrane is porous and allows the movement of substances or materials both inward and outward. Embedded within this membrane is a variety of protein molecules that act as channels and pumps that move different molecules into and out of the cell. The membrane is said to be semi-permeable, as in, it can either let a substance, molecule or ion, pass through freely, pass through to a limited extent, or not pass through at all. Cell surface membranes also contain receptor proteins that allow cells to detect external signaling molecules such as hormones. In addition to the cell membrane, there is an outer thick layer in cells of plants called the cell wall. This additional layer surrounding the cell membrane is required by plants for protection against variations in temperature, high wind speed and atmospheric moisture. Between the cell membrane and the nucleus is the cytoplasm. This jelly-like substance provides a safe environment for all the intracellular components. The cytoplasm is a highly complex solution composed of water, proteins, carbohydrates and lipids. In fact, the cytoplasm is as distinctive as all the other organelles in a cell. Many chemical reactions critical to cell function take place in the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is in motion, moving materials such as nutrients from one part of the cell to the other. The nucleus is a very important component of the living cell. It is a membrane closed organelle found in cells that is also called the control center of the cell. It is generally spherical and located in the center of the cell. Nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane 
called the nuclear membrane. There is a smaller spherical body inside the nucleus called the nucleolus. The contents of the nucleus are packaged into a thread, the end result of which is a fiber known as chromatin. This fiber is then looped and coiled yet again. This finally leads to the familiar shape known as chromosome, which can be seen in the nucleus of dividing cells. Chromosomes are not always present. They form around the time the cells divide. Chromosomes carry genes which hold the information to build and maintain an organism cells and pass genetic traits to offspring. Genes form a few stretches of the DNA, which is a nucleic acid that contains the genetic instructions used in the development and functioning of all known living organisms. Cells having a well-organized nucleus and nuclear membrane are called eukaryotic cells. Such organisms are called eukaryotes. Unlike eukaryotes, prokaryotes are a group of organisms that lack a cell nucleus. Prokaryotic cells have a plasma membrane. They are surrounded by semi-fluid substance called cytosol, where the organelles are suspended. On the outermost layer of prokaryotes, there is a waxy coating called the capsule, which protects the cell and can help the cells to stick to other surfaces. A flagellum is a tail-like projection that protrudes from the cell body of certain prokaryotic cells. In a plant cell, there is an organelle called the vacuole, which regulates the composition of a cytoplasm, creates the internal pressure that is characteristic of plant cells and stores various compounds produced by the cell. Vacuoles are generally a lot smaller in size in case of animal cells. Plant cells also have green colored plastids called chloroplasts. They provide green color to the plant as they contain the green pigment called chlorophyll. Plant and animal cells have certain similarities like they both have a nucleus a cell membrane and mitochondria. However, plant cells have a cell wall and chloroplasts, which animal cells do not. Cells are responsible for the survival of all living beings. Nature has assigned every cell a particular function that it carries out on a regular basis. As long as cells continue to perform the task assigned to them, we will continue to survive.